All right, baby, let's go live. I hope everybody's doing fantastic. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. I love creating artwork. Um, it's a thrill for me. I love the, the feeling of the feeling that I get from uh, something comes out, you know? It's a thrill. Good evening, good evening. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I appreciate everyone who's uh, followed my work. I appreciate everyone who's followed my videos on um, social media, on uh, what, what, what do we call this thing? Um, YouTube, YouTube and Instagram, Instagram live stories. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate that. It's always an honor to be able to uh, to share my work. It's always an honor. <laughs> Hola familia. <laughs> so I was uh listening to this cat. What's this cat's name? It's George Condo. George Condo. Condo? I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Anyways, this, this cat's a, he, he's the real deal. He's a real deal. I was listening uh, on a YouTube uh, interview or something he was doing. And, uh, yeah, he just kind of made me think that his approach to art, his approach to creating artwork, painting, it's, uh, I think he I think he did the cover for one of Kanye's West's uh one of his uh, album covers or something like that. I don't know if it, if it got banned because it was a uh, very controversial. I'm not sure, something like that. I think I heard something like that. I'm not sure. But it was it was something along those lines. And Anyways, this cat, look him up, guys. Uh, I like to share some of the resources, too. I mean, come on. Uh, his name is George Kondo. If you haven't checked out his work, he's a big wig artist, okay? So he's not, he's not like a YouTuber or, or an Instagram artist. He's a big wig artist. Um, another one to check out, also, one of my favorite artists today is Sun... Sun Tzu, I think it's his, his last name, Su. Uh He's a, a young Chinese artist. I think he's Chinese, if I'm not mistaken. He might be from Singapore, but I think he's Chinese. Uh, this guy uh, this guy does some really great, 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 great stuff. Uh, if you have a chance to check him out, check him out, guys. Uh, both of these cats have a very interesting way of uh, just looking at the world. Very interesting. Very interesting way of, of creating artwork. Um, both of them extremely prolific. I like to pay attention to prolific artists. Now, I don't have anything against artists who are not prolific. But I've played around enough around this thing called uh, being an artist. And I found that the most prolific ones are usually the best ones. Uh, there's something about being prolific that just, it gives you authority. Uh, and and uh, those cats are very prolific. They create art very quick. Uh, not desperate, okay? So it's just something that I've been, I've been sharing also. Uh, don't create artwork desperately. Uh, do, like, find your tempo. 
you know, do a march, find your temple. All art has a march, right? All art has a march, has a temple. Find your temple and then stick with it. And then, and then explore it, you know, learn with it, explore it. But first you want to stick with it. Because if you stick with it, you start finding out what, what works and what doesn't. You know, you start finding out the, the stuff that works and stuff that doesn't work. And uh, it's just important to find your temple. It just is, I, I think. So George Kondo talks about that, which I was very, I was very surprised. I've never heard another artist talk about temple. And uh, maybe because, again, he was, he, was he's a, he studied music. So, so he's comparing that. I thought I was, I was very excited to find, to hear someone else talk about temple in artwork other than myself. I felt like like uh, um, someone did me justice. <laughs> someone someone did me justice because I've been talking about temple for quite some time, uh, and, and so when I when I heard this cat talk about tempo, I was like, oh man, like uh, I felt validated. Anyways, <laughs> you know you have a you have you, you have an idea or or you talk about certain things and then and then an authority on the subject uh, validates you. It feels pretty damn good. It was a boost to my ego. I was like, oh shit, man, I'm really onto something here. <laughs> Uh, but I, I really, I really appreciate uh, this type of artist. Uh, another great artist out there to check out if you haven't. His name is Kehinde, Kehinde Wiley. He's an African American artist. He's probably one of the finest portrait painters uh, today. Uh, Sun, Sun, uh, the Chinese artist. He's he's just a beast. He's just a he's just a fucking beast. Like. I, I feel like I feel like a little child. When I found out how much he works, I just felt like like this little, little. I felt like a little punk. When I found out how much he works, how much he produces, it just it really it really put my it put me in, in perspective, and I and I and I felt like such a little punk because sometimes I don't feel like coming to the studio because because I don't feel like it, you know. <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, cause I'm upset. Because, because uh, you know, whatever, all kinds of excuses. And when I when I found out that this cat was actually uh, in uh, in five years, he had over a hundred exhibits. Okay, one hundred exhibits in five years. You're talking about uh, I don't know if you do the math on that. Uh, it's about two exhibits. Per month, like every two weeks, he has an exhibit. You know, it, it, it's just it's insane the amount of work and the amount of not just the amount of artwork, the amount of work to get the exhibits. You know, I'm sure he's got reps now and whatnot, but he didn't start there. No one starts there. I, I don't care if you're Jeff Koons, you don't start there. Nobody does. You know, so just the amount of work that that he produces, it's just uh, it's it's amazing to me. So I felt, you know, some, some people just humble you. Well, that cat humbled me. I was like, oh, man, I got to get on my grind. So anyways, I, I, I found someone who who's willing to outwork me. And I felt I felt a little bit like. Uh, like, I wish I could meet the cat, you know, just to be around him. Maybe I don't know. I would have to go to one of those uh, Viennals or Viennales, however they're called, where all those uh, big wig painters hang out. I feel like I have to go to one of those. Now I feel like now I feel like I met my match. Chinese artist. That guy's like way too cool for school. Um. It's just really good. But anyways, guys, like check out artists that are that are doing, you know, uh, kick ass stuff. You know, don't don't just don't don't just I mean, by all means, you know, hang out with me. Don't just check out artists that are like swinging. Check out artists that are winning, too. It's very important. You know, it's very important to check out artists that are that are winning, not just swinging, Uh, because you learn a lot. You learn a lot from their their 
their work ethic is I mean it's the work ethic that you want to check out you know it's really the work ethic it's not the it's not the art I mean although check that out too because because they have because they have tremendous work ethic they're able to push out tremendous artwork like just super kick-ass artwork but check out their work ethic that's if if I can just walk you into a direction check out their work ethic I, I find out how many hours of work how many how many hours they work a day find out how long they stay in the studio find out uh how many paintings they produce find find out all those things you know because you're gonna get an idea of what it actually takes beyond just being an instagram artist you're gonna find out what it actually takes to to produce at a level that your 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 that gives you results, right? That actually gives you results. So, anyways, guys, just wanted to show you here. Little puppy. Barf, barf. Wolf, wolf. <laughs> barf, barf. <laughs> Look, I have a heater here. Because, like, my little butt is in trouble here. Guys, I want to show you something. You guys ready? All right, let's do this. So, not only, not only did I... Here, let me show you. Not only did I get uh, some new racks. Look at that. Ooh la la. Not only did I get new racks. Because I have this racks for paintings. Um, yeah, I've, been, I've been working with this stuff. Ink. Ink is where it's at. Sumi ink. Ink is where it's at. Right now, for me anyways. I've been doing a lot of that. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you. This is what I wanted to show you. These are, these are, well, I want to show you that. You always need to be shipping out, baby. But I want to show you this. These are super kick ass. So I know that some people are going to be like, dude, you're crazy. Don't do that. Blah, blah, blah. But look, check it out. This is plotter paper okay it's plotter paper baby check it out it's like it's thin but it's it's not it's not um how can i say this it's not newsprint it's not newsprint thin Okay, it just keeps my keeps my little ass sharp, you know. It keeps me sharp, like just being able to to draw so much. And so some people might be like, "I would never draw on that paper." Well, you're missing out because I do. Check it out. I buy it in rolls. <laughs> you're missing out, baby. Uh, this is just. I don't know. It, it, if you got hunger for creating artwork, you should buy a little roll. It's like. It won't cost you more than a hundred bucks at most, uh, fifty bucks probably, depending on what you're getting. You can't really get them very thick, but but they're not they're not they're not newsprint they're not newsprint thin. They're pretty thick. I mean it it it, it works. Okay. Um, I got that and I got this. I want to show you here. Now this is a little thicker. This is eighty pounds. I gotta do some inks on this on these puppies. I got fifty of them. I gotta do some inks. Guess how long that's gonna take me? One day, baby. One day. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I just wanna encourage you to you know just try out different stuff. You know, try it out. Try out different stuff. It's it's not. I don't know. I'm always testing stuff. I'm always trying stuff out. Uh, not just testing like. Just doing different stuff. You know. Not just testing. Uh, I did a lot of that when I was younger. Uh, I'm, I'm trying it out now. I'm not just testing it. Like I, I tested it, but now I'm, I'm doing it. What I mean by trying it is I'm doing it. I'm, you know, just, just, I don't know. Change the format. You know, change the, the, the whatever. Right? Doesn't matter. Like, who cares? Like, I don't know. That's just how I do it, baby. Anyways, I gotta get back to work. 
I hope that you guys uh, get a little bit inspired with the stuff that I'm doing here. Uh, it's it's very rewarding. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't change anything. You know, I wouldn't change anything. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for nothing either. For anything, it's it's extremely rewarding. I it's long days. It's lots of hours painting, but. Can you please say that again so I can try that paper? Yeah, it's it's just plotter paper. It's printing paper. It's uh it's printing paper. That's all it is. Just uh you know, you can go on Amazon or, or whatever and just find plotter paper in a roll, you know, printing paper in in a roll. Make sure that it's in a roll. And just I mean, buy one of those, baby, and just go nuts, you know. You will learn so much. Here's a little here's a little um I'm going to share with you guys one of my secrets. Here's a little secret, okay? One of my one of my many secrets. Buy one of those and make sure you draw the shit out of it in less than 30 days. Watch how much you will grow as an artist, you know? Now don't don't get desperate. Get frequent, not desperate, okay? Get frequent. What I mean not desperate is 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 like don't get like um don't miss a step, you know? Draw with it, play with it, but, but just just make sure that you get frequent. It's in the frequency where you start getting really, really good. Like you start getting kick-ass good. And then people actually want to start talking about you and, and, and uh, buying your shit. Yeah. All right, guys. Peace.